you know, I, uh, Olympic gold medalist several times, uh, track and field athlete, been to three Olympics, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without chiropractic care. Welcome to the 100 Year Lifestyle Podcast, dedicated to you and your loved ones living at 100% for 100 years and beyond. I'm your host, Dr. Eric Plasker. Welcome everybody to the 100 Year Lifestyle. Yes, we are transforming health and longevity worldwide so that you and your loved ones can live. And after today, you're gonna realize this, truly live at 100% for 100 years and beyond. And today we are gonna talk about the athlete in you. Literally, no matter whether you're a high level athlete, we got a good friend, LaShawn Merritt, Olympic gold medalist, world champion on the line. We've got college athletes on the line and there's a new film that everybody needs to watch called The Aligned Athlete. Go to alignedathletefilm.com to watch this documentary about what it means to be an aligned athlete. And as the old guy, don't you dare call me that, right guys? As the senior right. athlete the in the room turning 60 this year, still doing high level skiing, uh, working out, uh, played football in high school, not near as good as these guys here. We're talking about really big time athletes here uh, and being taken care of in my 36 years of practice, taking care of world champion athletes, Olympic athletes, uh, Hall of Fame athletes, high school sports teams, youth sports teams, college sports teams. And then I'm going to let everybody go around and introduce themselves. I'm going to start with the most highly decorated one in the room with his gold medals. Uh, LaShawn, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're here on this call. Dr. Plasker, uh, thank you for having me. You know, I uh, Olympic gold medalist several times, uh, track and field athlete, been to three Olympics and I wouldn't have been able to do it without chiropractic care. Not at all. Cool, man, which is where the Align comes in. And we're going to talk about that as this progresses and also star of the film, one of the stars of the film, uh, LaShawn is. And I learned about this film last weekend because I was a keynote speaker at the Florida Chiropractic Association. And I met Eric and LaShawn there. So Dr. Eric Gorman, practicing chiropractor now, but also high level tennis player growing up. Uh, tell us a little bit about you, your story, why you're here. Well, Dr. Plasker, thanks for having me. I have a huge passion for optimizing human performance. I experienced it. I'm a second generation chiropractor. My dad practices in Eugene, Oregon. He worked with some of the world's best track and field athletes from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and continuing. And uh, I, like you said, I was able to play college tennis at the University of Oregon. And I got adjusted by my dad, got muscle tested and adjusted, and I would see a big difference in my performance when I was at home playing matches at home versus when I was on the road sleeping on a bad pillow and knowing that I'm unaligned. And uh, my big serve is not going to be there for me that day. I'm going to have to grind a little harder to get that W. So what are you trying to say? Aligned is better than unaligned? What is this, the Common Absolutely. Sense Network all of a sudden? Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. Very good. And I knew we had another special connection in Oregon because Dr. Corey, who I'm going to introduce in just a second here, his brother and sister, our kids, also chiropractors practice in Bend, Oregon. They take care of athletes there, uh, those that have been injured, those that want higher performance. Again, they're in Bend, Oregon. And so Dr. Corey, High level athlete growing up, been adjusted since I think nobody really timed it, but I think after his birth, uh, having the cord wrapped around his neck twice, birth process is very traumatic on the spine, can be. Dr. Corey got adjusted right away. The rest is history, became an athlete. So Dr. Corey, tell us a little bit about why you're here. Yeah, so thanks for having me. And it's it's really cool, you know, me and uh, Dr. Eric share a really common uh common connection about being an athlete and also being in a chiropractic family, myself also being a second generation chiropractor. And like you said, Dr. Eric, I was born into it and I was blessed that I never had to really deal with recurring injuries, um, especially as my athletic career really got more and more intense as I aged. And I mean, I, like I said, I'm blessed. It's, I didn't have to deal with it and noticing the change that happened in our youth team as chiropractic came around it really, the, the proof was in the pudding on the field and we were able to be successful because of it. Very good. And so, uh, so I'm going to actually start with Dr. Eric Gorman today because Dr. Eric, your father uh, worked, one of the pioneers in, in this sports chiropractic world, working with Dr. Leroy Perry. And I knew about 
uh, Dr. Perry, Dr. Leroy Perry, because growing up as a chiropractor uh, in the early 80s, my chiropractor, Dr. Ernie Landy, talked about Dr. Leroy Perry, talked about the performance on the field. He taught me, Dr. Landy, through Dr. Perry's work and his own work as a professional baseball player utilizing chiropractic when he was younger, we understood at an early age about this crisis care to performance-based care mentality that great athletic performance required. And Dr. Perry was great at that. And, you know, I watched the video, the, the documentary, which is fantastic. And I love how the athletes say, I wouldn't have won the gold medal if it wasn't for chiropractic. I wouldn't have won the medal uh, and I wouldn't have placed. And talk about the history from your perspective and how we got here to understanding why, because we're going to, everybody, by the time we're done, is going to realize that not only does everybody need chiropractic care to perform better and to prevent injuries, but really to function at your highest level throughout your lifetime, it's really, really important. So talk about that transition from that crisis mentality that athletes had way back to that performance-based mentality. Well, one of the things that people will see in the movie, The Aligned Athlete with Dr. Perry, his athletes became advocates for him. They demanded his services to be included at the Olympic level because they knew that his work resulted in higher levels of performance. And uh, it's pretty awesome when an athlete starts advocating and sharing the story and pushing forward because as chiropractors, we don't have a war chest of funds like from medical procedures or, or pharmaceuticals, right? The only thing we can really flex is our results with athletes and relationships. And so when an athlete says, you know what? This totally enhances my performance. I have a better career. I have a longer career. I have a higher level of performance because I get this care on a consistent basis. That's one thing. So that's why we did the Aligned Athlete movie is I wanted to capture type of chiropractic care that these athletes demanded and advocated for was really performance optimizing care. It wasn't like helping them rehab from an injury. It was helping them be the best version of themselves. And I, got, I had a front row seat to it as a kid because my dad was Nike's chiropractor for all their professional runners growing up. And uh, I was in the Nike house in 1984 Olympic trials, having lunch with Carl Lewis. You know, that's kind of, I just had a front row seat and I just knew these people by seeing my dad work on them. So I'm blessed, I guess. Yeah, you know, it's really cool that you had a front row seat, but it required them to have a backstage pass because <laughs> they had to be advocated for. Because, you know, back then, who ran everything in the medical tents, the medical world were these orthopedists that what a lot of these athletes realized that, man, if I kept myself as an aligned athlete, man, maybe I wouldn't need the orthopedist. Maybe I wouldn't need that surgery. Maybe I wouldn't need that procedure. And what I appreciate about this story, which these uh, young people that athletes that may be watching and listening and having chiropractic just in their life now because the world has changed. The world has changed because of the advocacy of people like Dr. Leroy Perry who fought for it and the athletes that fought for it in the same way to bring in another piece of it, the same way that our families are fighting for family care today and maybe having to advocate for their doctors the same way the athletic chiropractors need to be advocated for by people like doctor, uh, like LaShawn. And so LaShawn, how did you, what brought you into this world? And how did you realize that, hey, this is really important. A line makes sense to me. Where did this capture you? You know, I, I played sports all my life. And I can think back to 2003, when I first started track and field, uh, my coach took me to a chiropractor in high school, my junior year. And track and field is intense training, neurological systems firing up. And for the spine to be adjusted, help with the connection throughout the body. So ever since 2003, I was getting adjusted. And when I turned pro, the, the workload got even heavier. So I had intense training, plus the travel, plus the European beds. So I had to get my own chiropractor to travel to these places. So it was like a mechanic for a car. So I had my own mechanic. I spent 16 years in the sport because of chiropractic care and keeping my body aligned. I contribute that to my longevity. I'm talking three, maybe four times a week uh, before I go to bed, before a meet. First thing I do when I get up, at, uh, when I have a meet because of just the body, the intense pounding of the body. So I've been getting it all my life. I'm a big advocate for it. My family, my friends, I talk about it all the time. 
You know, you mentioned something about longevity, which I think is a really big part of an athlete. They, they don't want a short career. They want a long career. And it becomes more important in a long career, if you want a long career, that you don't wait till you have injuries. A lot of athletes, they don't realize it, and they're constantly fighting to get themselves back on the field because of injuries. And, you know, we saw it when I was taking care of Dr. Uh, Dr. Corey's teams on a youth level, U15, U16, U17, U18, very high level soccer, we literally became, we shocked every team. No, we came out of nowhere. Uh, Dr. Corey slammed this goal in at uh, the Disney tournament, put us at like number one in the nation or number four in the nation overnight. And we never looked back. We got something inside of us. And Dr. Corey talked about the how healthy, how much healthier our team became, what it was like in those grueling tournaments, you know, maybe five games in six days or four games in four days, sometimes four games in three days in order to compete. What did you realize? Because you had chiropractic your whole life, but when you saw everybody else responding and you saw how your team responded, what kind of difference did that make for you and your understanding? Well, you know, that was the big key. It was for me growing up in it, seeing my teammates around me really <clears throat> respond was really eye-opening for me because I never never really knew what it was like to have to live with these things that athletes, competitive athletes are used to living with that ultimately hinder their performance. And like you mentioned, the grueling nature of youth sports doesn't matter what sport you're in. If you want to compete, you got to put your body through a lot of work, a lot of demand. And the consistent care, I mean, I remember we, we had that laser that was kind of the introduction to chiro the chiropractic world for our team. And all of, our, like all of my teammates were so attracted to this laser by helping with sore aches and pains that they were trying to treat so that they could play the next day. And it ultimately, it slowly happened to be a transition into, okay, I need to get adjusted because I'm feeling better. I'm able to perform better. I'm able to perform longer. And it went from this kind of like what you talked about, this crisis focus, I need to get adjusted so I can play to, oh no, I want to get adjusted. So I know I can play at my best and not have to hold myself back, not have to worry about anything coming up in the heat of the moment. And that was really a big transition that I noticed seeing all of my friends and teammates really wanting to have this as a huge tool, a huge piece that will ultimately lead to what was a really amazing run that we were able to put together 16, 17, 18 years old. Yeah, and the laser just collected dust after a while because everybody just wanted to get adjusted. And you know, it was really interesting because I think what keeps coming up here, we call it, we have this lifestyle care continuum in the world of the 100 year lifestyle that uh, our doctors around the country, they'll, they'll use this as a model to help explain it to people. And it goes crisis care, critical transition, lifestyle care, and then all the way to the lifestyle care side to the right, there's this performance-based care where the dots of frequency get closer together because we have this saying that the intensity of your lifestyle care depends on the intensity of your lifestyle the underlying conditions that you have and the goals that you have. And so, listen, we tell people all the time, listen, if you're going to meditate three times a day, eat pure organic, say OM, get 28 massages a minute, <laughs> then, then you know what? You'll probably need and not push yourself physically. You'll probably won't need that many adjustments and chiropractic care. But like LaShawn was saying, man, if you're going to travel and you're going to push yourself and you're going to train and you're going to force your body outside of the norm to reach new levels and new goals, whether it's going from sitting on a couch and you're 30 pounds overweight to starting to walk, you've increased your intensity. Or if you're just a regular athlete and you want to perform and you start to do triathlons or marathons or sprints, you're just going to, you put the demands on your body. Your, the care that you give yourself must be aligned with the level of intensity of your training and your competition. <laughs> Otherwise, the incongruency of that leads to problems. And, you know, you saw, uh, LaShawn, in your world, you saw people that thought like you, that utilized this concept of the aligned athlete. Everybody get that film, the aligned, uh, alignedathletefilm.com, correct? Is that the right address? Yeah, that's Al correct. Alignedathletefilm.com. And you yeah. go there, you check it out. Uh, watch it, watch it with your team. Really important that you do that. You saw, LaShawn, there were people that did what you do, that utilized the care, and there were people that didn't. 
what was the difference you noticed between the two? Oh man, it, it's, it's levels to it. And like you said, in the documentary, the line athlete, it really breaks down why it's important, how it's helped people, athletes of all ages and people who aren't athletes just to have a better life through the neurological system. Um, but through my 17 years in the sport, the biggest thing was people being knowledgeable of what the adjustments were. So uh, me being so young and having uh, chiropractors and coaches who taught me along the way, you know, I would feel better after an adjustment, but then I would go out and move. And then I would I had the luxury to go back to the table, tell the chiropractor what was what I felt, adjusted it and go back. So I had a lot of that throughout my years. And like I said, the biggest thing is just being knowledgeable. You can have chiropractors lined up um, and an athlete to go see them, but don't really know their body. So they're not able to tell the chiropractor what's happening, what they feel. Uh, so they get adjusted. They feel better for a minute and that's it. But it's constant care. It's the preparation. It's in the training. It's not only at the track meets. And I know some who just get adjusted at track meets. And that's the difference between consistency, longevity, and, and peak potential for sure. Beautiful. Well said. And so you, Eric, you were a tennis player in, in high school and college, I believe. Played high level. Yes or no? Um, yes. Correct anything. If I misquote something, please say so. If you, there's a different web address you want to send people to, whatever you feel. Uh, but talk about your experience as a young athlete, because sometimes when you're a second generation chiropractor like Dr. Corey, I tell him all the time, you're very fortunate. Like you don't know the suffering that the rest of the world knows because you have grown up with, you know, your level of suffering. I mean, it's yours and I get it. But compared to the rest of the world, man, the rest of the world is really suffering. That's one of the reasons why we do these podcasts is to help eliminate that suffering and support human potential. Talk about your experience when you got out with tennis and how you utilize chiropractic care and how your mindset changed. Yeah, definitely growing up as a Cairo kid getting care and uh, my dad working on some of the best athletes in the world. You see them on TV winning gold medals at the Olympics. And then you get on the table, you feel a certain way. He adjusts you, muscle tests you, adjusts you some more. You get up, you feel totally different, almost rejuvenated, like having full access to your athleticism. That's amazing. And yes, Corey and I probably took it for granted that when we were younger, that we have these awesome docs as our dads, you know, delivering high quality care that allows us to be the best version of ourselves. And I never really had any sports injuries growing up other than like a, a little sprained ankle. But my dad, I remember one tournament I was playing in the finals. I rolled my ankle and it was a pretty good ankle sprain. It would have probably blown up a bit, but he came right out as soon as I rolled it and adjusted it because he knew it wasn't a fracture. And I uh, just reset that, uh, those proprioceptors right there, mechanoreceptors, all that stuff in the ankle. The swelling stopped and I was actually able to play the, the rest of the match. Not not 100%, you know, because it was a pretty good sprain, but if he wasn't there, I would have retired the match right there, just shook the hand and said, peace out. And then I probably would have been in that four to six week cycle for a sprained ankle and then keep having recurring sprained ankles. But because my dad, you know, was an awesome sports chiropractor, adjust me, gets me right back going, decrease that uh, injury window. And then also, I always know when I get on the table and you muscle test me when things weren't firing, I'm just like, wow, that's not, that's not the best version of myself. And then when he adjusts me specifically based on the muscles, nerve roots, all that stuff, brainstem, how it affects all the different muscle functions. And I'd get off, I'd feel, I'd feel great. And so I definitely want people, well, here's the, the thing you said, what has changed in your mind? Well, before I just thought that was everybody's experience. So like, I wasn't really a big advocate for it. Right. But I know that's the minority of people's experiences in this world is getting that type of care. So that's why we, I said, dad, we've got to tell the story. We got to do this line athlete. We got to tell your story. And Dr. Leroy Perry's story of inspiring you to do track and field and get this out. Cause people need to know that adjustments, optimize performance, increase quality of life, big time. Not a yes. Little and bit, if you want to, and time. you want to enjoy that big time for a long time, uh, you mm -hmm. got to keep yourself aligned. We have a saying, healthier going in, healthier coming out. That will always be true. Higher level performance going in, higher level coming out. That will always be true. And you use some very big words, by the way, uh, Dr. Eric. So you used a word like firing, 
okay? <laughs> but you also use words like mechanoreceptor and proprioceptive. And I think, you know, that's the neurology piece of it that LaShawn understands as an athlete, he's talking about it. Listen, muscles are attached to bones. They're controlled by nerves. If it wasn't for bones and, and nerves, muscles would just hang out. And really right. where chiropractic makes the difference from an aligned perspective is not just the alignment of the bones. It's the alignment, the function of the motor units, the neurology that kicks in as a result of that. All of that is vital to perform on the field today and for the consistency as you age. And I'll never forget, Dr. Corey, it was our first regional tournament. And uh, we got a lot of Eric's we're talking about today. This player's name was Eric. Do you know who I'm talking about? Do you remember? And we had the striker. His name was Eric, too. Lots of Eric's. It's Eric Cube Day today. Uh, we got three <laughs> Eric's. So Eric hurt his, sprained his ankle in the semifinal game, which we won. And he, nobody thought he was going to be able to play the next day. Well, he was adjusted all week going in. He got, had that injury. I adjusted his spine, balanced out his pelvis, cleared out his fifth lumbar, adjusted his ankle. He played the next day. We won the game. He scored, I believe. We won the game. We won that regional championship, went on to the nationals. And uh, so, Dr. Corey, think about, you know, all those times where going from that crisis care to performance-based care, the grueling nature of those tournaments and seeing your opponents, because uh, this was one of my favorite parts, what did you notice as our team lined up to get adjusted in front of the other teams? What did you notice about the look on their faces and their thought process when they saw our entire team get on the table, get adjusted, then bounce off and get back on the field? You know, it's it's so funny that you talk about that because during this whole process, we're warming up. So we would like go in phases, like half of, or like three quarters of our team would go get adjusted while the rest are warming up and we would just cycle in and out. And all the parents, all the kids, doesn't matter what age, they're all just looking over. Some of them are curious. Some of them are really, really jealous. And they, I, I just remember all the time they would come up to you and ask me next, right? Me next. And there was definitely an intimidation factor that was involved with it just because people realized, other teams realized that, hey, this team we're going up against is getting something that no one else is getting. Whether they knew what it was or not, it really didn't matter. They just, it had that intimidation factor. And then we would hit the field and we would be on their butts, like as far as energy is concerned and getting after it and going for a win. I mean, you, you could just tell a huge difference in the energy levels. And, and like you said, also with the injuries, we were never injured. So we were just as healthy going into the championship as we were coming into the first game of the week. So we were ready to go and, and the results really proved that. Yeah, you know, it's true. And we didn't win those big games by small margins. Usually they were by at least two or three, sometimes four goals. We'd win those championship games because you play those three or four games in a row and it really takes a toll on your body. And so it's not always the best team that wins. It is often the healthiest team that wins. And, you know, we got to go back to the machine here because that's his nickname, right, LaShawn? They call you the machine, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I watched some of your races, man. You got a kick that is smooth at the end of the race. But when you when you compete for a medal, you know, it's not just one race a day, is it? It's sometimes it's more than one race a day, correct? No, when you compete for a medal, it's usually three days, a race each day. So, and it's a lot of care, it's a lot of stress, and all of this is the nervous system. And, uh, and not only did I have a, a doctor who did chiropractic care, he also did a lot of neurological work on me, specific neurological work uh, in motion of my running form, you know, so it's it's usually three days back to back. It with me being a four by four guy, I anchor the US four by four to gold several times. I'm usually one of the first days at a, at a major championship because of the 400. And I have to come back later on because the four by four closes the Olympic games. So I had to have my body in, in, in a certain line and not overcompensate. I had going to 100% have my day body getting adjusted in a certain like line and not overcompensate uh, right after percent day after day off the track. getting adjusted like you know Dr. so Gorman said, while the nervous system uh, is right still after tugging and the muscles you get tugging off the track. put it right back in the place you know, so Start while the nervous system is still tugging and the muscles yeah it's still beautiful tugging, and uh you know right and you're as a place. machine you're i know Start you're really focused 
because I never saw in any of those races when you blew by that guy in the last part of the race, you never waved to him. You never said goodbye. <laughs> you never said anything. You just blew right by him, man. <laughs> yeah, that's Very a lot of moving parts. You, 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 you learn to move the parts, especially that's the, the most critical part of the race when the body and the muscles just want it. The, in the inside, you feel like everything's falling apart, you know, but you trust in the care you had before to be able to move the body correctly and send a signal from your brain, from your spine to the certain areas to get max out of your muscles. Yeah, that's so important. And, you know, with this, we're going to have this podcast is going to be a part of an article in a magazine that everybody should go get also. It's called the Masters of Health magazine. And I'm a featured writer in there. In October, we'll have a featured story in there. And then uh, one of our 100-year lifestyle chiropractors, great chiropractor in Dothan, Alabama, um, from Spine and Sports uh, Specialty. I'm, I'm not getting that name exactly right now, but it'll be in that magazine and we'll put it in the in the link here below. And he's taking care of a high school sports team now. And a lot of our people are active in youth sports and and team sports around the country and around the world, which is, is super exciting. And you brought something up, LaShawn, we're going to build on this, about the mental state, about the mindset of this. And you know, we always talk about how people that stay healthy versus are on a crisis care roller coaster, living from crisis to crisis to crisis, or people that are always sick and always looking for drugs and you know covering up symptoms versus people that keep themselves healthy, keep themselves fit. You know, my wife will often say because people will comment on her that you know, man, you're so lucky you're thin, and she's like, no, thin is a choice for me. And I really love that because a lot of times people will look at age as they get older and there's an athlete in everybody. I don't care what, where you're at, what phase of life. I know this Ida Keeling who at the age of 103 won an ESPY award for, for running races at the age of 103. Look it up, Ida Keeling. And we see these 100-year-old races happening in different places and senior Olympics popping up all over the place. And listen, if you're an athlete today, I promise you, if you're a young athlete today, there's going to come a time that you're older, hopefully you live that long, that you're older and that you want to perform well, not just for today, but also as you age. Talk about for you, LaShawn, the mindset of championship or higher level performance training yourself talk about that from your perspective from the highest level perspective you know i i feel like the, the mental part is at least 80 percent of of what we do you know people train a lot you train you train you train my biggest uh thing was understanding what i was doing in training you have workhorses in training you have people who don't train as hard, but my biggest thing was understanding my training, uh, understanding my training, but then understanding my body, because I knew my body was part of it. I mean, this is my car, you know, without my car and without my mechanic, I couldn't get peak performance. So the mentality for me was stay healthy, get prepared, stay knowledgeable. Um, and like I said, the track and feel from training slow, training the, the myelin sheath to doing neurological intense speed work. It all had to deal with me understanding what I was doing. So when it was time to perform, I could say, okay, I understand this. I had this, everything's aligned. Now I have to go out and trust my team and, and, and execute. It was all in believing, being prepared and executing. Yeah, and what's interesting about your particular sport is that you can really gauge where if you want to beat your own world personal best by a second or a half a second or an eighth of a second or two seconds or whatever it is, it's a, a focus that you can strive for regularly that's really singular. You know, life is not always like that. You know, it's great if everybody can have those crystal clear goals in soccer. You know, you got people that are knocking into you and you don't always are not always able to make your coolest move. And in tennis, you know, it's singular sport. You know, you, you have the control over it, but what if your body's just not, you have to adapt a little bit to an opponent who's returning a certain kind of serve. And so much of this game in life and athletic performance, because we are talking about the athlete in all of you today 
is understanding how to adapt. And, you know, Dr. Corey, uh, we often say in, in our practices and, you know, chiropractic will say, you know, chiropractic saves lives, but also chiropractic saves dreams. And we have one of our athletes, our young athletes, you don't have to say his name because we don't have permission. We haven't talked about it. I'm sure he'd be happy to, if we gave him credit, but talk about this young soccer player who thought his career might be over and what happened with him as a result of making this transition that every one of you listening can make. Every one of you can make this transition from a crisis care mindset to a lifestyle care to a performance-based mindset. Talk about this one athlete, which I'm talking to all of you who are listening right now. Yeah, really incredible to see how far he came in really such a short period of time. And it was a testament to his commitment to himself and his commitment to be the best athlete he possibly can. You know, he was suffering from chronic muscular strains uh, that never really, they would never self-resolve. He would always try and stretch, go to physical therapy, trying to get the joint moving right and make sure the muscle was as functional as possible. But the nervous system component, the structural neurological component was not being addressed. So he was constantly dealing with this recurring strain that was not getting him anywhere and was actually costing him in a key recruiting year. He's now a junior a key recruiting year in trying to take his athletic ventures to the next level. It was costing him playing time. It was costing him experience that any athlete could say is so important when you're really trying to make the jump to another level. So he starts coming in, he starts following our recommendations. And I think within two weeks, he already noticed an incredible improvement, not only in how he was feeling, how the muscle strains were feeling, but his overall energy levels, his athletic performance was really just taking another small step up with every single day that passed, every visit that passed. He just kept climbing this ladder of improving his abilities, improving his capacity to perform. And now, this is a year later, he's already made a jump to a higher level team that is playing a lot more games, that's getting a lot more exposure in front of college coaches. And he's excited. He's already broken into the starting lineup of this new team. He's only spent preseason with them. And he's super excited. He's really thankful. Uh, and really, he's done most of the hard work. We've just been honored to help guide him in the right direction to make sure that he can perform well. So awesome. And, uh, and you know what? I love watching the parents' faces because they get to go to the games and they get to experience the joy just like your dad did. Dr. Eric and your parents, you know, watching you and LaShawn, you know, your family following your career. And so we're, we're gonna start to wind down a little bit, Dr. Eric. And, um, you know, we have this saying in the world of the 100 year lifestyle, it's 100% for 100 years. I'm not wearing my shirt yet. I'm gonna send you guys one. It's 100, 100, 100% for 100 years. And that's the goal. Uh, it sure beats 71% for 82 years or 64% for 87 years. We're talking 100% for 100 years. And if you're an athlete, that's really what it's all about. And so, Dr. Eric, talk about why is this film so important to you? What's your vision for this film? For this film? What would you like to see happen? What would you want everybody to do? Well, one thing that uh, an athlete like LaShawn does is he brings credibility to our profession with his story of how chiropractic optimized his performance and extended his career. His career was legendary. The machine merit is a legend in track and field. And uh, to have him talk so highly of chiropractic care is uh, as allows somebody who's on the fence for getting care to start taking that transition like you're talking about Dr. Plasker from that crisis care like, ooh, uh, most people that come crisis care to my office or other chiropractic offices, it's usually like last resort. Oh, I guess I'll try the chiropractor because nothing else worked, right? But when we have champions for chiropractic, like LaShawn, who's a champion, and we tell that story that decade after decade after decade after decade in the sport of track and field where everything is measured by personal best, historical best, world record, that this type of care was the care that produced these types of performances that 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 is a story that we can let these champions champion chiropractic for us and not everybody's an amazing communicator like you dr plasker you know some people don't like it in front of a room but this this movie can do the speaking and tip those people over from crisis care who aren't getting it to getting care and then experiencing 
the beauty and miracle that chiropractic is to optimize the nervous system and the hundred percent for a hundred years. I mean, they're not going to find that anywhere else than from chiropractic. And so this is a tool for doctors to use to get more people to get care. And unfortunately, LaShawn can't be on every podcast and go to every office, but this movie can. Yeah. And, and it's not just that, uh, not just the uh, doctors that will spread it. Literally, if you're an athlete and you watch us, you need to share it with other athletes because 100%. they'll make you better by being better themselves. And I'm going to just add one thing to what you said, Eric, Dr. Eric, because I think this is really important. You talked about listening to somebody that has had a legendary career or experience like, like LaShawn. There's a lot of families, a lot of mothers out there that have had an individual, CEOs, ordinary people, street workers, construction workers, teachers, all kinds of people in this world today, 2022. We're not back in 1970 anymore. Chiropractic is legendary, period. It is legendary. In the face of all of the attacks over the decades of years that Leroy Perry, that your dad went through, that my mentors went through, that we have fought through, and we are literally the champions of the people in my mind. There's no question about it. And we see it that we see the moms that are fighting for their kids that were autistic. They went to a chiropractor. They started getting care. These kids are now in regular schools instead of other types of schools. And we need to not just listen to the show. We need to share this with everybody and spread this story because you're right. He's got a great story and it's a, and it's a way that we can measure and show the results. But everybody needs to start listening to everybody that is talking about chiropractic because there's millions of people now that are fighting for this non-allopathic, non-drug, non-pharma-driven, ridiculous type of care that's filled with the MDs, so many of them, medical misinformation, disinformation. There's some great ones out there, but I gotta tell you, the true performers are avoiding all of that because they're living differently, just like LaShawn. So LaShawn, give us your closing thoughts. Uh, great job, we appreciate your advocacy with all of our hearts standing up taking a stand and, and for the longevity, the proof being in the pudding and for being here with us today. Closing thoughts. Man, I thank you. hundred years. Uh, it's a long time, but we can live at our max potential hundred percent, you know, and I'm blessed for Vic Gordon, you know, Dr. Eric's dad in the eighties, bringing uh, chiropractic to Prefontaine. I've been a Nike athlete for about 16 years. i performed at Prefontaine for 11 years. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a part of my success. It's a part of my world uh, on, off, on the track and off the track and until I leave this earth. You know, uh, it's something that everyone needs. I feel like with that type of care, the body, with, with first knowing that the body can heal itself, you know, I think that that's one of the biggest things. So the pharmaceuticals and all the extra things is not really needed. The constant care of adjusting and aligning the body takes care of the nervous system that controls the whole body. So we can be fit for hundred years and chiropractic care is the way. Awesome, man. You know, what's interesting. Ida Keeling didn't start running till she was 67. She actually wow. took up running because her kids were murdered in a drug situation. Mm -hmm. And because of the grief, she started running. And so 67 to now 103, she may be 104 today, that she just got better every day. She just got a little better every day, a little more every day. And it's a beautiful thing to watch people make these transitions. And we have this saying in the 100 Year Lifestyle, we don't really have time to get into it today in detail. It's on a lot of our other podcast episodes. So if you're enjoying this episode, make sure you like it, leave us a review, share it with your family and friends. Uh, and go back to listen to some of the other podcasts where we talk about this. And the saying is this, that your innate intelligence, that your body's innate intelligence will organize around the thoughts that you think, the choices that you make, and the lifestyle that you live. So as an example, if LaShawn had decided to take up weightlifting and started training differently, his body would have developed differently. If Dr. Eric Gorman, instead of playing tennis, decided to take up soccer, instead of having really big shoulders and a strong upper body, he'd have some fast feet and his muscles would have developed differently. He would have trained differently because your body organizes around that. 
And, you know, we see it, Dr. Corey, all the time in our practices. We talk to our patients about this who decide, you know what, they're going to change their life. And I'm just thinking about this one woman who came in recently. She lost 100 pounds and she's fit. She's living her life so much differently. Talk us a little bit to us a little bit about that transformation that you see people making every day that everybody, if they make the commitment to change their life, utilizing this care and the mindset that we're talking about today that LaShawn mentioned as well. What is the difference that everybody can make for themselves, bringing out the athlete in them? You know, one thing that never gets old is watching people realize that they can do so much more than they think or they thought. It doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter your health history, doesn't matter your mentality. It all depends on what you want to get out of it and committing yourself to it and then realizing the potential of when you make that commitment your whole world looks different. Doesn't Like I said, it doesn't matter your age. We have people coming in 50, 60, 70 years old that are playing tennis four, five, six times a week. They're playing golf and they're doing it consistently three, four, five times. And they just never stop because they feel like they don't need to stop because their body is just keeping up with them. And that's what they love. They love that their body is able to keep up with their mind. And it's just, it's, it's impressive to see Absolutely. it never gets old. And it's something that we love to do and we see all the time. Yeah, and I'm gonna and uh, and everybody, fantastic job today. Great chemistry, great passion, great heart here today. Caring about all the people that we're talking with and to today. And I, I got to go back, circle back to kids now because if you're a parent and your kids are into sports, having your kids under chiropractic care, getting checked by their chiropractor while they're growing through going through growth spurts, doing their sports making sure that they are growing straight, strong, aligned, balanced, good nerve supply while their body is in a growth spurt is vital. It is vital to ensure their quality of performance, their resilience on the field, as well as their longevity long after they're in their glory days of winning gold medals, which only maybe 0.0001%. LaShawn, come on, what's that stat? I don't even know. Someone told me before, but it doesn't happen every day. <laughs> You're right. Although if we come hang out with you at an event, you'll let us wear your gold medal for a picture, right? I will. Definitely. Okay, I did it cool. for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, listen, this has been a real joy, a real pleasure. Dr. Eric, what's the website people should go to watch the film? AlignedAthleteFilm.com. Also, uh, the same name on our socials on uh, Instagram and Facebook, Aligned Athlete Film. There's some good little trailers on the socials, uh, post those on your socials, get the word out. And uh, the film is a tool for the chiropractic profession and for people under care to get more people under care to bless their families and to bless their communities. And uh, it's an awesome film. And I don't say that just because it's our project. Um, the feedback all through the industry of, uh, and the profession of chiropractic has said it's, it's a phenomenal film. So let's get it out. Yeah, it's very inspiring. I would agree with you completely. So, all right. Well, listen, thank you, everybody, for being here. Really appreciate you. Great job. Thanks for caring so much about all of our listeners. And listen, all of you out there, listen, your 100 is coming, whether you like it or not. Your 100 is coming. You make the call. Thanks for being here, Dr. Eric Plaska, with my friends, my Aligned Athlete Warriors, signing out. Thank you so much for joining us on the 100 Year Lifestyle Podcast. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have topics that you want us to cover, people you want us to interview, maybe you have some stories that you want to share, stories of yourself, loved ones, people in your life, we would love to hear from you and share your story. Please email us at my100 at 100yearlifestyle.com. And remember, nobody wants to get to 100 or even 50, 60, or 70 for that matter crippled, broke, and alone. So please share the 100 Year Lifestyle, all of our podcasts, social media pages, website with your family, friends, and coworkers so they can take this journey with you. And until next time, adjust your lifestyle. Live your best life today and every day on the road to a sensational century. Dr. Plasker, signing off.